AITA for using my friend's logic against her and making her cry. I, 36F, went no contact with my narcissistic family last year as I was done being their scapegoat. My friend was encouraging me to call my mother and reconcile for Mother's Day, and I explain. Again, the emotional and mental abuse I went through and her refusal to take accountability or seek therapy. She then lectured me on how it's hard being a parent. She's a parent I'm not. That as the eldest you should have helped your mother around the house more and with your younger siblings. And that I should let bygones be bygones and call my mother for Mother's Day. I told her, so you think if I had done more chores and accepted more parentification as a kid then, I wouldn't have been abused? If it's too hard to be decent to your kids then you shouldn't be a parent. Maybe you should have helped your abusive ex-husband around the house more. Maybe you shouldn't have had dinner 10 minutes late. BC you know his job is stressful and it's hard being a provider and father. Next, month is Father's Day you should call and reconcile with him. How could I as a child stop the abusive behavior of an adult when as an adult you couldn't stop your husband from abusing you? She cried and walked off. Our mutual friends agree she was wrong to pressure me to reconcile with my mother but she meant well and didn't understand. And you took it too far, I did it to make a point on how abuse isn't okay from anyone even your parents. AITA? NTA. Once your friend emotions started to fill with sadness, she should have realized that's the exact feeling she's giving to you each time she made those comments. That's where she should have apologized. No, she didn't mean well. She assumed being a parent made her a specialist and thought she knew better than you about your own experience. You were not cruel. You help a mirror of how invalidating she was being in a way she understands. Now she gets it. And she doesn't hear. Because of her experiences. NTA she didn't get it before. No matter how kindly you put it. I'm betting now she has a full picture of what that ask really means to you. Yay. She didn't understand. So you tried to make her understand. By putting it in terms that meant something personal to her. And she didn't like it. Well. Boo hoo. Maybe next time she can try to have a little empathy before opening her mouth or just trying being. Quiet in the first place. NTA. NTA. A lot of people who make arguments like that including the friend encouraging you to apologize to her, tend to be scared that in the future they'll be treated similarly. She's a mom. She's afraid of her kids doing this to her. The friend is a friend. They're afraid of doing something to earn similar treatment. Unfortunately, they choose to try and make you lessen your reaction instead of just making sure they don't earn the treatment. NTA people really need to stop lecturing kids about reconciling with abusive parents. It seems like it's socially acceptable to tell people who were abused that it is their responsibility to mend that relationship. Which is, of course, BS. NTA. Brilliant. Sometimes that's what it takes. She is crying because having this growth experience is uncomfortable. You did nothing wrong. You gave her the chance to back off from her foolishness. But she pushed you. And now she understands how it feels. If you lose her friendship, then it's because she is unwilling to understand what she was doing to you by guilting you about Mother's Day. NTA. You didn't take it too far. Your friend was way out of line. NTA. Well said. You spoke the truth and sometimes the truth hurts. NTA. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. You both suffered from abuse. Which is something neither of you deserved. But she dismissed your abuse and made excuses for your abuser and she was serious. You were not serious when telling her to forgive her ex. Merely making a point and she couldn't handle it. 
Hopefully you finally got the point across and there won't be another again of you explaining this to her. NTA you are my hero! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Everybody needs to hear this! Exclamation mark! Well, she understands now, doesn't she? NTA. Some people need a picture drawn for them before they begin to comprehend what someone else has experienced. The temerity of her and her defenders in judging you when they have not stood in your shoes. Maybe you should free yourself of people that don't have enough functioning neurons to understand that they know too little to have an informed opinion? You only said the exact same logic to her as she did to you. How can you be anything else than NTA? NTA. Now she understands and if it hurt her feelings then maybe she'll learn to mind her business in the future. No. In ta. Not all parents are good parents. You shouldn't be forced to turn the other cheek just because they are your parents. Family is not an excuse for abuse. If this is what it took for her to understand this, is up to her and not you. NTA and you didn't take it too far. What? Does her trauma trump yours by dint of being more recent? Does she get to poke your sore spot over and over but you don't get to say anything? Your mutual friend doesn't fully grasp what your mother did to you. Or they wouldn't be saying this. Same for your meddlesome friend. NTA. She shouldn't have tried to pressure you into reconciling with your abusive parent. Especially as someone who went through abuse. She didn't mean well at all. She wanted to feel superior over you. The fact that she was victim blaming you is so toxic. NTA. I feel like maybe she's projecting her own fears onto you and your mom people who escape abusive. Situations often fear their kids will hate them for disrupting the status quo because the kids were happy enough. That doesn't mean she has the right to pressure you after you've been pretty blunt that it was abuse. It was way too far to suggest you were responsible for the abuse. And you using that same logic is harsh but a wake-up call. It's clear you don't really believe that you were making a point because she keeps pressuring and blaming you. NTA. If she did not understand. You now set her straight. She actually should apologize now if she actually does understand that as a child you had even less ability to prevent abuse. NTA and maybe I'm being cynical but I suspect your friend still doesn't understand your point of view otherwise she would have reached out to you and apologized. No Binta. She needed it put into perspective for her that she could relate to and understand. She may have had good intentions but it's not her place nor is it okay for her to push and push after. You say no the first time. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.